3D Render and Beyond to a tutorial on how to install V-Ray Standalone for distributed rendering on a PC. The standalone does not need to be installed on your main computer, but only on the computers where we will distribute the rendering process. We can add up to 10 computers and the standalone needs to be installed on each and every one of these. First of all, let's open the V-Ray for Cinema 4D page and go to the latest updates and installers. Let's go to V-Ray for Cinema 4D 1.9. Go down to V-Ray Standalone and download Get V-Ray Standalone Windows and Cinema 4D UVW Gen. Install the file. Once the program is installed, let's go to C, Program Files, Chaos Group, V-Ray, Standalone, Bin, X64, VC101, Plugins, and copy here the UVW gen file that we downloaded before. There will be an older version inside this folder, therefore just override it when asked. Let's find the vray.exe file that is inside Program Files, Chaos Group, vray, Standalone, Bin, x64, vc101. Right click on it and create a shortcut on your desktop. Then find the shortcut and right click again and choose properties. Under target after the quotes you have to add a space dash server and then choose apply. Now if you double click on the shortcut the standalone will launch. A few very important things you need to know. Always authorize firewall connection if you're using a firewall. You only need to authorize it the first time. Then let's right click on the network and choose Open Network Sharing Center. Choose Change Adapter Settings. Right click on Network and choose Properties. Double click on TCP IPv4 and insert an IP address. To verify your IP address, go to Prompt and type IP Config and then enter. Your IP address will, will show up here. Every time you will need to use standalone on this computer, you will have to launch this shortcut. Otherwise, you can make it a startup program that launches over every time you turn the computer on. Now let's go to Cinema 4D, Render Settings, V-Ray DR, Activate Distribute Rendering and Enable Assets. Here, where you see Slave 1, you will have to copy the IP address of the computer where you just installed the standalone. Thank you for following our tutorial. If you want to stay updated with our tutorials and new releases, subscribe to our newsletter. You can find all our links in the info box below.